previously. Welcome to the Honeybee in the Cloud. And now we continue. Hey everyone, hey Dr. Dan here. Welcome back to more Fall 57 Rebate. Alright, for the last part, I had literally the best, and I mean the best fucking thing in Fall 50 ever. That fucking dance scene the Honeybee in. That was the, yo, that was legit. I was, I was literally laughing and I was dying for the past like fucking, like two hours. It actually was amazing. So now we gotta go to Don Cornelio's place, uh, rescue Tippa, kick her ass, and then most likely fucking have to fight that new Adnabu boss. But don't forget to click that subscribe button and the cool bell to get aside to notify. Do this, everybody. Please don't. But you look so pretty. Not a word. Not even one. No. But you're so pretty. I would give anything to get to know her. Hey, watch the way you walk. I'm not gonna lie, I look so fucking hot. Like, I would actually. Like, I really hope that we get to wear, like, really like a costume for the next grade at the end. Or we get to wear any costume, or we can actually get to wear the whole female clown dress. And how nobody noticed that, like. How I many know. How, I wonder if they're gonna notice this is me. I think I noticed Whoa. that this is me. That is one hot chick. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs> I like the attention I'm getting here. <laughs> um, well, you know, I could get used to this. Hello, boys. We're here for uh, the endorsement. <laughs> no way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so, come on. Huh. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> Just gonna... <laughs> <coughs> hello. Hello. <coughs> I mean, hello, boys. The two of you here for the audition? Yeah. The second yeah, yeah. floor, at the very end of the walk. <laughs> and don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. <laughs> That was Madam M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. Hey, hands to yourself. <laughs> Sorry, just gotta go me. Here, you big stupid. How <coughs> you are. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things. Go to, to me. your room and wait. Quietly. <laughs> stupid bitch. <clears throat> I mean, room's at the end. Keep walking. Shut up, bitch. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, got it, got it. <laughs> Inconspicuous. What the fuck? No way, trail lady. Huh? <clears throat> What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? That's not gas. Uh, uh? Come on. <clears throat> Damn it. Cloud. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? 
Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> huh. Alright, so... So what happens what now? What the fuck?! I think they'll call for us when it's time. Oh, what the this fuck?! This room gives me the creeps. Yeah, same here. So, first of all, I'm gonna buy that. Nothing there. Nothing there. And we're good. So, um. What, what is, like, no place to, like, have a, wait, have a lady or anyone wait? It's kind of. Um. No? Why is a torture dungeon? Like, why? The fuck kind of shit are you into, man? The f Now, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. Fuck you. Wait, um, fuck you. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? No. At the same time, yes, absolutely. I know the bird's ugly as hell, but if he's cute though, like, oh no, the dog's cute. Mm. I'm not to ask you to wait outside for a second. I'll seal the deal. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dog. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Nah. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow's or the day afters if the dawn takes a shine to you pathetic huh hey which one of you said that 
Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay! <laughs> okay, lady. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. Dude, I came to clean this up. Just finished the job. Uh, thank you! Oh, give me a Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's good, right? Yeah, it's gonna be really fucking awkward when, like... We're, like, we're gonna show up and, like, yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm a dude. Corneo's like, ugh, I dig I I'll still dig it. Tifa, let's go. Kick your fucking ass. Better hurry. Thank you. Better hurry. Thank you. I feel like we gotta meet again somewhere later. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time because like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Perverts. Alright, Don Carnero. We got a few questions for you. So get that hard dick down and... Oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey! You've got this! Got oh, this. Oh, here it comes! Oh, oh, one more shot! And... Focus... Strike! Now it's on! Boink! On? What the fuck was it not on? Boink! Boink! Um... No. Oh! Ooh, hold up. What was the the thing I have equipped with Fox Striker? Focus Strike. Okay. Silver. Alright, so I gotta focus on doing Focus Strike. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Huh? Oh, the dungeon. Ah, oh, okay. So, Don! Don! I'm gonna fuck you up now! I said, Don, I'm gonna fuck you up now. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. 
<laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> when they lock their minds? <laughs> I don't know. When they've lost their minds? <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Your parting gift... ...is in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Enjoy the fat ass and diabetes! <laughs> Enjoy the AIDS and diabetes, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Enjoy the AIDS! <laughs> oh, fuck. So, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna basically, like, you know. Like, imagine that for, like, fucking, like, like a city. Shit, we got a problem. What do we do? Let's just, like, smash it. Let's, like, bring the whole thing crashing down, because, you know, why the fuck not? <laughs> Like, like, why, why the fuck not? Are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Read. Progress requires sacrifice. 
learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Oh yeah, so Reeves, pay very, very close attention to Reeves because he's gonna be very important later down the line. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but pay attention to Reeves. He's gonna be very, very important later down the line. Very, very important later down the line. Right, come on, wake up, wake up. Tifa. We have to get back to the slums, right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it? Sure there isn't something else going on? Uh. Get the fuck up! 
Back up. Round two, Mr. Ning. Probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? <laughs> I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what, right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! Oh boy, we're going to the sewers. I but we're going to do that at next part, guys. We come back, we explore the sewers, getting the fuck out of here, and then going back to check the summon slums. Then we're going to be fighting Reno. And then after that, Aerith gets kidnapped. And then we go over to Shinra, and then we save her. And then, yes. oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know what happens then. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, and they'll come back to go to the other side. We see you guys in next part. Peace what out, everybody. Bye. Let's make sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around. <laughs>